Oh, hi, wow, and welcome. <laughs> yeah, oh, how have you been, guys? Oh, for me, it uh, came a little stressful the last few minutes because for whatever reason, before I started the stream, or right before I wanted to start the stream, OBS crashed, and um, yeah, that's why I had a little delay, about seven minutes now. <laughs> I um, had to restart the whole PC. I hope everything works now. Um, yeah, but that shouldn't uh, uh, that shouldn't take us away or fun or something like that, right? <laughs> I can't I can't speak probably. I'm a little nervous today because um, the music stops. Oh no, it's just looping. Okay, everything's good. <laughs> music starts again soon. No, but uh, I'm a little nervous today because um, we try something new today. Um, since we finished Ocarina of Time on Monday, I was thinking about hey. Let's do a tier maker list about all the Zelda dungeons or Zelda Ocarina of Time dungeons. <laughs> uh, how many do we have here? Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Whoa. Yeah, I think the mini dungeons are uh, included as well. The ice cavern and stuff. Yeah. And um, yeah, I was just thinking, hey, I'm gonna rate them how I think I enjoyed them and uh, talk a little bit about the dungeons and the game it uh, itself. And after that, we jump into Breath of the Wild, which is our next project that we stream, or next game that we stream on uh, Friday and Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you probably have noticed right now, I have a hat now. Woo! Yeah, I have Link's hat attached on me. <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of scuffed, I know. But hey, uh, it looks fun. I, I think it looks nice. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a nice detail, I think. <laughs> But um, yeah, I would say we start now with um, with the tier list. What do you think? Um, I prepared also a little bit of a, not really playlist, but uh, a few songs. You know, fitting to the dungeon we, uh, we are reviewing or we are uh, waiting. I uh, play the dungeon music for the respective dungeons we, dungeon we are waiting right now. So... Oh. I hope you can hear the music well, I'm not sure about that. But now uh, Inside DQ Tree music is playing. Now I'm planning on going um, going uh, in the correct order. Oh, you can see my mouse, right? I don't think it's necessary. Oh, is it? Wait, um, how can I do this? Um, ah, anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, you see the first one here is uh, Inside the Well, but uh, like I said, I want to go in the correct order. And I really hope you can hear the music. Wait a sec. Should be fine though. Yeah, sh uh, it's the inside DQ tree music. And that's our first, uh, first dungeon here. Uh, inside DQ tree. Um, how, where would I put uh, the inside DQ tree? Hmm. I would say I put it. Now what? I put it into A tier. A tier. You know why? Because I think the DQ tree is a very great introduction dungeon. Yeah, it shows uh, it uh, presents you really well uh, the the gimmicks of the game, what you can do in the game, and it's a nice tutorial dungeon. It's not too complicated for a first dungeon, but it's also quite a challenge if you play this game for the first time. That's why I think um, the DQ tree is a nice is an eight year. Uh, it's a nice um, tutorial dungeon. It it shows you how to play this game and in a very subtle way. Yeah, I mean, of course, you have the annoying Navi, but or Navi, but um, but the dungeon shows you in a very subtle and intuitive way how to play this game, and I think that's great. Uh, and the overall design, yeah, you have this. That you really have the feeling you climb up a tree and then you fall down into the inside of the tree. That's I think that's really nice. That's really nice. So yeah, AT for the DQ tree. And uh, yeah, wait, let me change the music again because uh, the, the children dungeons have a slow start with the music. Don't know if you can hear it well. Um. But yeah, next one is, uh, where is it? Dodongo's Cavern. Wait, let me put it here. <laughs> Where's Jabu Jabu here? 
Okay, so yeah, so Dodongo's Cavern. Um, what can I say about the Dodongo's Cavern? Um, it's a uh, yeah, it's not my favorite dungeon. I would say it's um, yeah, it's it's much. It's not much backtracking, but how do I say this? You have this one center room, and you have this this uh, this mouth that you have to open with the bombs, so you can enter the boss room. Um, I think that's cool, but um, yeah, you know, I prefer the more puzzle-like dungeons, except of one exception. <laughs> um, but I like the more puzzle-like dungeon. I have the feeling that the Dongos Kevin is more like a combat-heavy dungeon. And um, I remember I was quite, an, or not quite, but a little bit annoyed about the um, about these um, sword guys. What were they again? You have to fight, you know, the Smith, the Smith boss battles in the game. I'm not really that much of a fan of it. And it's annoying when your deck you shield burns. <laughs> That's also something I don't like. <laughs> now the fire bats and um, and the, and all that fire stuff that burns down your deck you shield. Yeah. It's a cool dungeon, I think, but um, where would I put it? E or C? Hmm. I would say, yeah, let's put it into C tree, uh, C tier. Uh, like I said, the oh no, oh, oh, do I? Yeah, come, let's do C tier because, like I said, the uh, Iku shield stuff is annoying and um, <laughs> the, the backtracking stuff a little bit and stuff. Yeah, so let's put it into uh, C tier. All right, the next dungeon. The next dungeon. Oh, can you hear the music? Now that I hear the music without the dungeon, it's quite uh, uncomfortable music. Like It kind of reminds me of Metroid, to be honest. The dungeon music uh, theme from Jabu Jabu Belly kind of reminds me a little bit of Metroid. And Metroid is a good, uh, good uh, thing to say now, because the dungeon overall reminds me of Metroid a little bit. All this organic alien-like stuff. I mean, you're inside of a fish belly, so not that much alien-like. But I don't know. It looked weird to me, an alien-like. But it's something that I like. It's something that I like. Um, it's a complex dungeon, probably the com most complex dungeon of the three children dungeons, and even some of the later adult dungeons. <laughs> um, but I really like the design of the dungeon. I like the setting. Yeah, it made you, made you feel uncomfortable being inside of a um, of a fish. Yeah, I remember when I was a child playing this dungeon. I was sometimes scared to touch the water in there because I thought it was something like stomach acid or something like that that he's uh, starting to digest you or whatever. <laughs> it was really a fear I had as a child. Oh no! I need. I thought there was a hidden time limit or something like that in this dungeon. Yeah, uh, thinking that, um, thinking that, um, that I have to clear this dungeon fast or otherwise uh, the fish, uh, Jabu Jabu would digest me. <laughs> but um, despite uh, Princess Rutu being annoying, the dungeon itself is really great. I would put it into B tier. Yeah? It was confusing, but um, it was not frustrating, I think, at least not to me. Yeah, you had to use your brain. <laughs> And you had to navigate uh, through it, and the weird and unique design of this dungeon really, um, really uh, stands out to me. Yeah. All right then. We are finished. Well, not really finished. We have, in theory, we have one children dungeon left, but we do that later. Um, wait. Let me, let me sort that a little bit. Uh, zack zack, and then. Yeah, then we have this one, then we have this one. Oh wait, I'm stupid. We have this one, then this one. Okay, we have the white order now. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Ah, oh, the music guys, the music. Forest Temple, S tier. Forest Temple is S tier. I think Forest Temple is one of the mainstream choices for S tier, but um, I think it has a good, it is a good reason in S tier or something like that. I can't speak properly. Ah, <laughs> oh, the music guys, yeah, yeah. 
that's what I'm saying. Starting with the music. The music is great. Uh, it's it's I don't know how to describe it, but it's the first adult dungeon. And the music and the dungeon itself shows you, okay, um, now uh, now no fooling around anymore. Now the real shit begins, yeah? Forest Temple was basically telling you, now the game really starts, yeah? The dungeon was complex. It was... Um, uh, it was not confusing, but it has really nice puzzles. And you, uh, navig navigating through the dungeon is really not that easy. I really like the design of this dungeon. Also this mystery-like, yeah? I mean, the main uh, gimmick of this dungeon is you enter the main room and the elevator that leads to the boss room. And then you have to fear ghosts, uh, the four ghosts, yeah? And you have to hunt down these four ghosts and they are hidden uh, on the whole dungeon. And um, that's the main gimmick of this dungeon, right? And the main thing or the main theme of this dungeon, this besides being a forest dungeon, is that um, it's also a, a very mystery-like dungeon. It has, it has very mystery... Uh, Many rooms, uh, many rooms full of mysteries, you know. When you enter this one hallway that is twisted, or the um, the, the the rooms that are kind of like uh, up upside down and stuff, that's really really cool. And this weird uh, room where uh, where the uh, ceiling falls down with the uh, with the chess floor, chess like floor, you know. <laughs> um, it's a great dungeon, it's a great dungeon. Great atmosphere, great music, great design. Yeah, S tier. <laughs> S tier. <laughs> um, okay. So, Fire Temple. Wait, let me change the music again. I hope it's not too annoying that I change the music so often. I just think it's uh, it's uh, fitting for the um, for the uh, for this for this tier list. So yeah, next one is Fire Temple. Um, yeah, Fire Temple. What do I do with you? Why I'm not intended? Um, yeah, that's not easy. I'm I'm switching between B and C tier. Um, I would say, yeah. Maybe I'm not really that much of a fan of the of the fire dungeons. I would put it into C tier, but before before um, the Dongos Kevin. Um, C doesn't mean that I don't like the dungeon. Yeah, even D doesn't mean uh, I don't like the dungeon. Yeah, it's just like I like the other dungeons more. <laughs> I like every dungeon, but of course, some are annoying. Some are or other dungeons are better designed and stuff, you know. So, um, yeah. So it's still a great dungeon, but uh, I would still put it in C tier. So there's one reason. And um, it's weird because uh, as a Metroid fan, I should like it. But uh, <laughs> I think the backtracking is really not one of the strong points of this dungeon. You know, you enter the room. And when you go to the left door, you are immediately at the boss door, but obviously you can't open it yet. And I don't know, I think there were several, several occasions where you had to backtrack, not only when you have the boss key and you have to go the whole way back. I mean, you unlock, uh, you unlock um, shortcuts, yeah? That's at least a nice thing to do. You at least unlock a shortcut. Um, but overall, the backtracking, yeah was not one of the strong points of the dungeon um, but still a great uh, dungeon and um, yeah, the music it's okay it's okay we have this uh, this random do, 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 do. I mean there's a little story behind it you know the fire temple used to have another uh, dungeon theme but it was um, it was um, yeah, replaced by this theme because uh, some people uh, complained about it. So yeah, we have this the theme that we have today. So yeah, Etia for the Fire Temple. 
<laughs> but I still like the music. It's not my favorite dungeon music, but um, it's still a nice music. Um, wait a sec, I need to find something here. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Um, yeah. So let me change, let me go to the next dungeon. Do, 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 do. La, the fire temple has nice music, but not as nice as others. <laughs> Ice cavern. Yeah. Uh, ah, there we go. <laughs> Ice cavern. Um, I don't know if the music is too loud now, but I think it should be still fine. Ice cavern. Um, C uh, B tier, B tier. Yeah. Um, but still behind Lord Jabu Jabu, I think. Ice cavern is a nice mini dungeon. Yeah? It's not a full dungeon. I'm not even sure if the dungeon has a map and a compass even. It's just a few rooms and it is to get blue fire and the iron boots. Um, but it's a nice dungeon. It has a nice music again. <laughs> and um, I think it's, um, it's a nice little in-between chapter between fire and water temple, you know? Can't really say much about that dungeon though. Oh yeah, the puzzles, the... the, the, the um, the push puzzles, where you have to push a, a block to a certain um, spot. It was also quite nice. I like that. I like these kinds of puzzles. They weren't too frustrating. They were at the right pace, I would say. So yeah, overall, nice mini dungeon. Beat here. <laughs> Alright. Um, so now we are starting with Suffer. Suffer starts. Water Temple. So, I think that's also again a mainstream opinion, D tier. <laughs> like I said, I still like the dungeon, I still like the dungeon, but um, compared to the other dungeons, it's, um, yeah, it's not that great compared to the other dungeons. Yeah? I like the theme of the dungeon, yeah, because the main room looks basically like an underwater or dungeon or a, a dungeon or a, bleh, <laughs> or a temple in a cave you know so it is a really atmospheric heavy dungeon it has a really nice atmosphere the music is great as you can hear the music is great and um yeah but <sighs> i mean the most annoying thing i think they uh, fixed in the 3ds remake that was uh, changing between the normal boots or kokiri boots and the iron boots Oh, every minute you have to go into the menu at least three times to change between the iron boots and normal boots. Oh, it was... Ugh. And of course I streamed the, uh, the the N64 version on Nintendo Switch. So, um, yeah, that's, um, that's really annoying. And as my, I like puzzles, but the Water Temple... I think they overdid it a little bit. I felt when I streamed it, no, I felt kind of frustrated during the temple because I couldn't figure out how to progress and to change the water level. Oh my god, my brain was smoking. And Dark Link is a cool mid boss, but I still don't get it how to beat him efficiently. <laughs> I think I took way too long on him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um,. Uh, during the stream, I told you the story I, when I was a child. When I played this game, uh, the, when I played this temple or this dungeon the first time when I was a child, I um, I uh, spent oh, I spent uh, three months or two months on that. I'm not joking. I, I needed month to beat that dungeon here, <laughs> and it was before internet was as how it is today. You know with YouTube and all that stuff. Nowadays you can just look up uh, in the, at the internet for, for a guide or something like that. It wasn't the case when I played this game the first time, no. I had to figure it out by, by myself. I mean, I could have caught a Nintendo hotline. <laughs> Do you guys remember that? I don't know if it's still the case, but back in the day Nintendo had their own hotline uh, when people are stuck in a game 
and I can uh, call that hotline to uh, to ask for help. <laughs> I never used it by myself, but I remember that was a thing. <laughs> Imagine calling Nintendo to ask how to beat the Water Temple. I bet some people did that. I bet some people did that. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't do that. I spent two months on that, and that dungeon, uh, that dungeon. Uh, chased me in my nightmares as a child yeah and i still struggled when i streamed it last week so yeah d tier <laughs> um all right now we have a bottom of the well um i'm playing the shadow temple music now for both the bottom of the well and the shadow temple because the bottom of the well doesn't have its own music well, no, it is the same music. No, Bottom of the Well has the same music. Okay, whatever. <laughs> bottom of the Well. Um, basically, it's the it's the fourth children dungeon, if you think about it. Now we have the inside Deku tree. We have uh, Dodongo's cavern. And we have Jabu Jabu Belly. Um, and basically, the Bottom of the Well is the fourth children dungeon. But you enter it after the water temple to get the item, the Eye of Truth, I think it's called. Uh, because without it, you know, technically it is possible to beat the Shadow Temple without the Eye of Truth. If you know exactly where you have to go and what to do in this dungeon, you could uh, beat the Shadow Temple without, uh, without the Eye of Truth, I think. But yeah. Bottom of the well, um, where I put you, my friend? I would say C tier, but behind Dodongo, or do I? No, no, be behind for a fire temple, but before Dodongo's cavern. I think this dungeon is really cool. It's all, it's like ice cavern, a mini dungeon. And it's it's horrifying. It's horrifying. You know the the boss of this this uh, dungeon. Oh, I forgot his name. This weird white thing covered in blood. What the hell? That's not how my children Nintendo games are supposed to be like. What the hell? And I played this game as a child. I didn't remember it was that horrifying. What the hell? So yeah, it's a nice mini challenge. You know, when you have the Eye of Truth, you can. Get some nice items in there, but yeah, except of the m m m of the boss, nothing special to be honest. <laughs> but still, quite nice. So yeah, next one, Shadow Temple. Shadow Temple. What do I do with you? Why well, again? Not intended. <laughs> um, I like this dungeon, but um. Oh no, wait, let me say it differently. It was a nice change of pace, you know, the water temple was extremely confusing and a little bit frustrating and really hard. And then you got the shadow temple, which is basically the easiest adult dungeon. Now if you compare it with forest temple, fire temple, water and spirit temple, I think shadow temple is the easiest temple. It's the most straightforward temple. You get the map and the compass. And even the treasure, the hover boots, almost at the beginning of the dungeon. And the rest of the dungeon is also straightforward. The only thing, or the only hard thing about this dungeon are the obstacles you have, or the traps uh, you have to overcome. You know, all these, uh, all these traps and this, um, these moving platforms and all that stuff. And the ship ride. <laughs> yeah, um... But lore-wise, it's a really interesting dungeon. You know, the Shadow Temple is a torture chamber for the royal family. It was a dungeon for criminals, I think, where criminals uh, were captive and tortured. So this dungeon basically proves that even the royal family wasn't all good. Now, of course, better than Ganondorf, but still. They also had their corpses in the cellar, literally. <laughs> So yeah, Shadow Temple lore-wise, a pretty nice dungeon, torture chamber of the royal family. Um, yes, let's put it into B tier before Ice Cavern. 
It's a nice dungeon, lore-wise a really cool dungeon, but a little bit too straightforward to me, too less puzzles and too many traps. <laughs> but on the other hand, I have to say, I felt like Indiana Jones playing this temple. With all these traps and so, that was really Indiana Jones-like. <laughs> yeah. But let's move on with the next dungeon that is... We have spirit temple music now, but it's not spirit temple mu uh, time yet. Since the Gerudo training ground doesn't have its own uh, dungeon theme, I give him also the spirit temple music. So yeah, we're continuing with the... Uh, with the... what is it called again? A training, Gerudo training ground. Right, 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 right. Um, yeah, what do I say about this dungeon? I would say it's nothing special. Yeah, I put it into D tier, come on. It's it's really not that much of a special dungeon. It has some nice challenges where you have to use, I think, all of your items. But um, <laughs> it's not special. It has a few challenges and um, it, uh, it has the... It has not a really nice reward, you know, the ice arrows. I never use them in a serious matter. I always use them for the lords, shooting around a little bit with ice arrows, but I never really use them. Okay, and the fire arrows too. Fire and ice arrows are pretty much useless in this game, is it possible? Only the light arrows against Ganondorf, but yeah. That's why I put it into detail. It's not that much of a special and um, the reward is not doesn't feel that rewarding because you never use the ice arrows ah <laughs> oh, but next one next one spirit temple s tier wait i wait before i put it in spirit temple okay spirit temple guys 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 spirit temple is my favorite dungeon in ocarina of time so it's gonna be s tier even before forest temple spirit temple in my opinion has the best dungeon music you hear it right now i hope at least you do i hope i didn't mess it up <laughs> but i think you should hear it yeah it has the best dungeon music in my opinion and um i really really like the fact that you have to go into this dungeon as a child to get an item that you need as an adult yeah the dungeon is divided into two parts the the west part and the east part and the west part is a uh, Child Link's uh, part, uh, where uh, Child Link does all his stuff. And on the east side, you have the adult stuff. And um, it's really cool that you have to get an item as Young Link, so Adult Link can progress. And um, the theme overall, you know, the 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 mirror shield is really cool. Where you uh, and the puzzles that were included with him. Where you have to reflect the light and stuff. Really, really nice. Really, 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 really nice. So yeah, it's my favorite dungeon. S tier before Forest Temple. Yes. <laughs> Best temple in Ocarina of Time. Spirit Temple. I think I even have a safe state in my um, N64 before I enter the Spirit Temple. So I can play this temple over and over again. <laughs> Yes, it's just that nice. Alright guys, last dungeon. Whoa! Menacing music! <laughs> Ganon's Tower, yes. Um... Okay. I would say... Ganon's Tower is a nice final dungeon. Yeah, you start with... Um, with several rooms, each dedicated to one of the sages. Now you have a light room, you have a forest room, fire room, water room, uh, shadow room, spirit room. Did I forget something? I hope not. <laughs> so yeah, for each sage there's one room dedicated to him. And uh, you have some obstacles and some puzzles you have to solve there. It's really nice. It's a nice, nice uh, throwback where you have to use all your items. And then the second part, where you have to climb up the tower and fight against some strong enemies. It's also very nice. You know, it's a nice pacing. Yeah? You start with a more puzzle-like uh, part. Yeah, the first part is more puzzle-heavy. With all the sages' rooms. And then you start climbing up the tower. 
or the, the castle where you have to prove your combat abilities. And it's like proving Ganondorf that you are really worth uh, challenging him. That you are truly the hero of time. Brain-wise and muscle-wise. <laughs> so it's really nice. Huh? And then I've, of course you fight Ganondorf. It's a really nice um, nice boss battle. Uh, first you have to play tennis with him. <laughs> we sports tennis, let's go. <laughs> and uh, the second phase where you have to uh, fight Ganon itself is also quite epic. Even though I struggled a little, even though I struggled a little bit because I went out of uh, m uh, magic for my light arrows, <laughs> but we still managed to beat him. So yeah, I think Ganon's castle is a really nice final dungeon. I put it into A tier before the Deku tree. Yes. So I think that's a nice. Nice tier list. We are done already. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> I mean, of course, 12 dungeons, and I gave my two cents to it. Uh, and let me go back to a more nicer music. Um, yeah, let's go back to Lost Woods. <laughs> so yeah, we finished. We finished. We have on D tier, Water Temple and the Gerudo Training Ground. On C tier, we have Fire Temple, Bottom of the Well, Dodongo's Cavern. On B tier we have Jabu Jabu Belly, Shadow Temple and Ice Cavern. On A tier we have Ganon's Castle and Inside Deku Tree. And on S tree, uh, S, <laughs> S -t, um, tier uh, Spirit Temple and Forest Temple. Yeah, I think that's nice. Huh? Probably not a list everyone would agree with, but hey, it's my own subjective list. <laughs> and I think it's nice, it's nice. I really, you know, like I said, I don't... I don't have a dungeon I don't like, even the D-tier dungeons I like. Uh, D-tier is just my least favorite ones, so yeah. Overall, a really, really nice game, Ocarina of Time. One of my favorite childhood games and I had so much fun playing it on stream again. And um, yeah, I think it's time now to uh, jump into the next stream, uh, to next game. <laughs> Which is Zelda Breath of the Wild. So wait, let me uh, close the music. Um, wait, I can save this, right? Wait, let me quickly go into hide mode. Let me quickly go into hide mode. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, nice. So yeah, I would say we jump now into into uh, Breath of the Wild. So wait a sec. Let me quickly change everything here. Mm. Do, 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 do. Wait a sec, wait a sec. Uh, 